Interestingly, some people would argue that the demise of the British Empire started uh, at the same time as it was actually at its largest, following World War I, when Germany was forced to hand over some of its colonies. What else? Sorry, am I boring you, Kelly Jo? Well, yeah, so you are, actually, because uh, I think we should be learning about stuff like right this instead of this rubbish up there. Well, perhaps if you'd arrived at a lesson on time, we might be able to cover it all. Yeah, well, I was in the library doing research, weren't I? You went to the library? Since when were you interested in learning about Windrush? It was so random. Well, Windrush isn't random. I'm half Jamaican and it's a part of my heritage and it's important to me. I didn't say something boring. Yeah, well, how else am I meant to learn about what happened when there was only one book in that library about Windrush? I just don't think that's right, is it, sir? No. No, it isn't. How many different cultures are there in this school? We don't do enough to learn about the different backgrounds and celebrate them, and I just think that we should, sir. I don't say this very often, Kelly Jo, but Fine. you are right. Okay. Okay, we are going to fast forward 30 years from the year we are in now, 1918, to 1948. Now, of course, there were black people living in the UK prior to 1948, but June the 22nd, a ship arrives at Tilbury Docks in Essex. That ship is called Empire Windrush. And on board that ship are hundreds of people from the West Indies specifically invited by the government to fill job vacancies post-World War II.